With Korea's Liberation Day just over one month away, the question of presidential pardons has come under the spotlight once more. As with other years, eyes are on whether the list will include any key business leaders. Kim Min-ji reports. The government has begun preparations to drop a list of candidates eligible for special pardons. The Justice Ministry will form a panel comprised of four ministry officials and five civilians and headed by the Justice Minister to carry out the procedures. Once the list is compiled, the candidates need approval from the Cabinet and proclamation by the President. In Korea, presidents traditionally grant pardons on national holidays to highlight national unity. Similar to last year, pardons are expected to be given to those convicted of minor crimes, but with the economy showing no signs of imminent recovery, attention is on whether it will include any key business figures. Through speculation, Kim Sin yan chairman of HANA Group, currently serving a five-year suspended sentence after being convicted of business irregularities, could be among those to be pardoned. SK Group Vice Chairman Che Jae Won, sentenced to three years and a half for embezzlement and using those funds for investment, is another potential candidate. Others include Ku Bon San, Vice Chairman of LIG Next One, and SK Group Chairman Lee Jae Hyun, both put behind bars for business irregularities. Last year, only one corporate leader made the list, with no politicians or civil servants. But with President Bakane emphasizing unity with the launch of the 20th National Assembly and noting the gloomy economic situation, there's growing expectation the list may include more this time around. But the practice has long been criticized as a tool to hand out favors to friends and business leaders. On top of that, some argue the pardons don't actually give the business sector that much of a lift anyway. Kim Minji, Arirang News.